Well, Prior Lake Savage Area Schools and police are investigating a racist video made by students that is now circulating on social media. Fox Science Bab Santos is in Prior Lake tonight with the very latest. Babs, you talked with a girl who says she was the specific target of this video. Yes, she says she's really appreciative of support she's gotten from her classmates throughout all of this, but she's hoping the school will take action against those involved so she can continue to feel safe coming here. I'm at a loss of words for what they've done. A community in the South Metro is on edge this week because of a viral video showing a student at Prior Lake High School using the N-word to harass a black student. Nobody was going to forget what this girl said about my sister. The conflict started after Elizabeth and Naya Sijin say a girl at the school recorded a disturbing video attacking a pillow with the N-word written on it. She beat up the pillow while calling the pillow racial slurs, pretending as if the pillow was a black person. After the girls drew attention to that video, they say more videos were made, this time directed at them. And to think that they could even say such things about a different, another human being, it's beyond me. The videos, which we are not showing you because they contain racist and offensive language, encourage Naya to commit suicide by offering graphic examples. It makes it 10 times harder to succeed in such a terrible environment where you feel like you are not loved by your community. In a letter to parents this afternoon, the school says today its counselors continue to create extra space for students to talk about the horrific racist video. But for the sisters, that's not enough. They feel safe and comfortable to continue to do these things it's because they do not get punished at school and they do not get punished at home. The Shakopee Mittawakanton Sioux community admits the video involves a minor from its community condemning the comments that were made. I really can't imagine what the next four years are going to look like and it scares me. It really does. It scares me to have to go through this. No one should ever have to go through this, especially regarding the color of their skin. And while this investigation continues, it's worth pointing out here in Minnesota, it is illegal to encourage someone to commit suicide. Live in Savage, Bab Santos, Fox 9.